Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, myself Chirag. In this video, I am going to discuss about IMAP protocol, topic of computer network. Before start this video, let us subscribe me on YouTube, Chirag Valodia. Follow my blog, EDU Resources. Follow me on Instagram and on FB. All the video materials are available on my blog, EDU Resources. All the links are available in description. Let's start with introduction of email. Email stands for electronics mail. Email is fast, easy to distribute and inexpensive. Using the email, we can send text, images, videos. So we can say using the email, we can send the multimedia files. Next, main protocols of email is SMTP and POP. SMTP is simple mail transfer protocol. It is mail sending protocol and POP post office protocol. It is the mail downloading protocol or we can say mail access protocol. There are three interfaces to access a mail from the web server and send a mail to the other user. The first one is desktop email client. The second one is mail web interface and the third one is mail application on the mobile. The example of desktop email client is Outlook and Mozilla Thunderbird. Example of mail web interface is Gmail, Yahoo, Rediff Mail, Hotmail and many more. There are many applications are available in mobile to send a mail to the user and access a mail from the mail server. Next, modern email has many powerful features. So let us take one example to understand the powerful features of the modern. The first feature is a messages with attachments. So we have already discussed that we can send doc file and multimedia file through the email. Next, hyperlinks. So using the hyperlink, we can add external link in the mail body. Next, HTML formatted text. So using this highlighted menu, you can write the HTML formatted text in message body. Next, embedded photo. So this is the example of embedded photo. Embedded photo means you can drop the photo inside the message body. So no need to attachment, photo will be displayed in the message body. Next, IMAP protocol. IMAP stands for Internet Message Access Protocol. IMAP is the mail access protocol. It means user want to access a mail from the server. At that time, IMAP protocol is used. Next, IMAP 4 is the more powerful and more complex in compared to the POP 3 protocol. Next, IMAP clients connect to the server by using the TCP connection. Next, IMAP allows user to store their email on the remote server. It means user can download the email, but the copy of email is remained in the mailbox. So let us take one example to understand the IMAP. Let's assume that client want to access a mail from the mail server through the mobile device. So client will provide the authentication information and login into the mail server. Then client will access all the mail and download in the mobile device. But the copy of each downloaded mail stored into the mail server. Now client will access the mail server from the another device. So again client want to access the previous downloaded mail from the mail server. So we all know that IMAP allows user to store the copy of each email on the remote server. So client can easily access all the mails from the server from anywhere and from the any devices using the IMAP protocol. Now let us discuss the IMAP state transition diagram. Whenever client want to access the remote server at that time TCP connection is required. If there is no TCP connection then TCP connection is established between the client and the remote server. After the establishment of TCP connection, there are two possibilities. One is client is not authenticated and other one is client is pre-authenticated. If client is pre-authenticated, it means client will log in into the remote server. When client is not authenticated, so client will provide the authentication information to the server. Server will verify the authentication information. If authentication information is correct, then authentication is successful and client will log in into the server. After authentication is successful, then client can access a mail from the mailbox. Now client can read, compose, replay, forward, delete and move the message from the mailbox. After accessing the mail, client will close the mailbox. After that, client will send a logout command to the server and close the IMAP session. Now I want to add some information here. If Authentication is not successful, so it is considered as logout in this transition diagram. After logout, TCP connection is terminated from the both the sides and resource is released. Next, IMAP supports the following modes for accessing the email. 
The first mode is offline mode. In offline mode, client is periodically connect to the server to access the mail. In offline mode, emails are deleted from the server after downloading. POP3 supports the offline mode. Next mode is online mode. In online mode, client is continuously connected to the server. In online mode, emails are stored on the server, so client can access the emails from anywhere and from the any devices. The next mode is disconnected mode. It supports both offline and online modes. Next, IMAP provides the following extra functionalities to overcome the limitation of POP3. The first one is user can check the email header prior to downloading. It means we can read the email subject before the email is open. Next, user can partially download the email. It means user can open the file before downloading from the email. Next, user can search the content of the email for a specific string of characters. We all know that Gmail provides the lot of advanced search facility. So we can search the email through the email ID, email subject, specific keyword and the file name. The next functionality is user can create, delete or rename the mailbox on the mail server. So using this functionality, we can store the specific email in the specific folder. Also, we can filter the incoming mail and store into the particular folder. The next functionality is move the messages from one folder to another. So it means I can store specific message into specific folder. So if you have any query regarding IMAP protocol, you can ask me in comment section. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share with others. Thank you for watching this video.